Afternoon everyone, no respawns here, hope you're doing well. So, we're back at Starlight Driving again. I'm quite excited by this one and this, I'm very pleased to say, ends up looking rather cool. I had no idea what to do with this place. <laughs> Thing is, right, is because I wanted to keep it, and I, I do achieve it, by the way. I think the next video, well, the next video on Starlight will be the tour. I don't know when that'll be. But basically, um, my whole idea with this place was I wanted it as almost compact as possible. So it's like this kind of, like, little falling Brahmin. Um, it's not a falling Brahmin, though. For some reason, I seem to just see a lot of them. But basically, I wanted it to look kind of scrappy, but also uh, just really kind of compact. And I had no idea what to do. I was like, right, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to do, reinforce this building, and I'm really pleased with how it turns out. Now, initially, don't worry, I just do these railings. It's all very, very boring. So I cut out most of the railing, basically, concrete pillar, pick them up like that. Bosh. The reason why I didn't show, sh meh, have me show you do every single one is because, well, it was like 15, 20 minutes of me doing this. <laughs> made me want to die so I cut it out there we go all done don't worry you'll see them if you're so inclined um, in the tour at the end it's all grand but what I've done in this one is I've tried to do something a little bit different overall than what I normally see because Starlight's quite a popular settlement so a lot of people you know board up and I have boarded my Starlight up because I didn't want to turn it into a diner or maybe where someone's just you know rug glitched a you know a, a restaurant in front. I will have one somewhere, but it probably won't actually be in the diner. The diner's actually going to be the main house. So right, firstly, we're starting something pretty basic. We're using the... What am I using? Chest high walls. That's the one. Well, the half walls. These ones here, all grand, um, from the warehouse tab. It's all very exciting now. We're just going to pillow glitch these in. It does take a little bit of a while. So while I'm dicking around with that, I've got a question for you, because you guys seem to be quite keen on answering a few of the things I have on what I should and shouldn't do. So basically, alongside my RimWorld series and what will eventually be just a, a indie kind of game we're focusing on to the same yeah, to the same extent as we do with Fallout, um, that's going really well. So thank you for the people who are watching those videos. But also, I occasionally want to do one-off videos where I'm kind of doing a bit more, not a review, not a gameplay video. It's more like a kind of like little indie showcase because there are games I want to do on the channel, right? Which I want to do some form of video on. Like, these guys just need exposure. You, someone needs to see this, right? But I don't think I'll be able to do lots of videos on. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to try and do one soon on a game called... I think it's called Beholder. Um, I've got it. I've got, I've got it downloaded, the demo of it. It's fucking incredible. Um, it's kind of a... It's an indie game where you play... It's got art styles amazing. And you basically play a landlord in a totalitarian state. Um, some of you probably heard of it. And you have to spy on your tenants and report back to the state. But you can also, like, blackmail your tenants or you can save them. So you can be good, evil, or new. It's really fucking awesome. And the demo's out and it's actually a surprisingly robust demo. So I'm going to do kind of like a review type thing on that. I don't know if it'll be the video up tomorrow, but it'll be soon. But let me know what you think. I do want you guys to watch this because the image for the channel is starting to come together a little bit now. I'm getting quite excited. It'll be a bit better once we get another AAA game in the mix that actually kind of starts growing the views a little bit more because obviously Fallout is a little bit more niche now. Um, Civ hopefully will cover that. I'll fill that void, shall we say. It gets, this does take a while. It, they get in. It's just it's trying to get them as close as possible right now. Doing the front. Don't try and be clever. Basically what I did. I'm actually This is where it just started to kind of like... This is why I like this one, because it's it's real experimental with what I do. I'm like, okay, let's see what oh, let's try this. Oh, okay, that's good, and that's good. And it's one of those one of those builds that just that just happens. Um, it just works, yeah, it just works. <laughs> and I'm just yeah, I was just by the end of it, I was like, this is so cool. I'm quite good at this, guys. Don't know if you know. I'm alright. <laughs> I'm making settlements. <laughs> it's pretty bloody brilliant. So yeah, I'm now I'm going to basically just put these over the front like that to kind of put a cap. But don't worry because you'll see it poking. Initially I'm trying, you see, I'm trying to like get it so you can hide it. And eventually I say, fuck that. And I just pop this in there like that. It's all grand and lovely. And we're going to basically put like a little cap. I mean, if, if you've even looked at the thumbnail of the video, you can see what we do. That ah, looks so good. This I, I was surprised. Sorry, I'm just a bit, a bit overwhelmed. I've recorded this one earlier and I'm like... Looks all right. Looks all right. But yes, hope you guys enjoy my hopefully beholder video. It'll be a remote or beholder video tomorrow, but you should watch it because it'll be good. And then soon we're gonna do some sick videos. But also Fallout, because you can see I'm having a 
having a grand time making shit look fucking awesome. There we go. So we've boarded that up. I really, really like the way this has looked. So first, we're going to use a junk fence. We're going to use two. But eventually I say, well, that's not going to work. Put the first one on. Same as always. All reliable. Grab that like that. Don't know why I'm narrating it like this. Shut up. Indulge me for a moment. So I was going to have it like angled like that. But it doesn't really work. So instead I have it on the front. And this is where it starts to look like, really like a train. Like a really junky train. And I'm quite pleased by this look. And even inferred how I put the spoiler. I put a boxcar on the top and it works. It just works. Also, surprisingly forgiving as well, um, like putting a lot of the details in. I was a bit a bit confuzzled, so there we go. Pop there like that. So you don't have to be too fancy. Um, I'm just kind of covering up the bits clipping through the bottom. It looks cool. It just kind of works. It just kind of looks like it should look like that. Nothing's really clipping through and looking all weird. Right, so I'm going to put a boxcar on the top. This this did take us a while. But what's exciting about this is one, it kind of fits on quite comfortably, which is pretty grand. But also, because obviously it kind of, if you just place, plop it on there like that, I probably should have cut out most of the time of me fucking around trying to get this straight. I think it was actually straight there, and I just wasn't satisfied with it. So sorry about this. This is me dicking around for about 20 minutes. It's not actually 20 minutes, it's about five sped up. So you're all grand. But yeah, like, you'll, you'll see when I get to it, but I was really surprised. <laughs> also, right, yeah, I was really surprised at how easy this works. So I get it. Also, have any of you noticed with the... It, this isn't really new, but you know when they made the changes to the building? I've realised I hadn't... I've only just started really noticing it. But as before, we, often you can move things through structures, so then they'll just go red, right? But what's happening a lot with a few items now... Look at how painful this is when trying to get this straight. <laughs> it's embarrassing. But basically, it's... It's like not letting me... Like the item gets stuck. It happens a lot with floors. Um, it happened on the general store when I was trying to do the upstairs. It was just like... And with the railings... Um, no, with the scaffolding, rather. They get stuck. And it's really, really weird. And I don't know why. If you know what I mean, like, you'll be moving and it's like, it's like it won't move. It's, it's, yeah, that's what happened with that box cover when I was trying to, because I was holding X, like holding select all. And I was trying to use the hold select and use the left bumper to move it without moving myself and it wouldn't let me do it. So let me do this like this. And I was actually hoping this would sink a little bit. I mean, to this doesn't look too bad. It looks alright. It's just clipping through. I mean, no. My aim was, looks good like that, but I was hoping it would drop down a bit. But it doesn't, but it's fine. Now, see, that looks really shit, right? It looks really wank. Now, I think I was going to do the same technique, but then I just noticed, oh, it turns green. This wasn't intentional, this was just me just matching up the height. I just noticed that I can actually put these here and they turn green, so I don't have to use any glitches whatsoever. This is where I'm like, oh, well that works. That's alright, isn't it? I don't know why this does this. What magical sorcery I did to make it so it's like, yeah, yeah, you can do that, that's alright. I'll let that happen. I let that slide, but for whatever reason, the building mechanics were like, "All right, Davy, let's do this. Looks alright." I'm gonna have decoration. I was actually thinking of theming this like a train, but I don't think there are any train th things really, other than the box cars. As you can see right here, we need to plug those gaps a little bit. Ye oldy, don't know why it's oldy, but ye oldy fence post will do us fine. So we're gonna get there. You go. Very very just. Good. Because it doesn't really matter, see, it just looks kind of scrappy and cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Better than yours, right? Sorry, I'm just really chuffed with this one. <laughs> this looks really good. <laughs> and then when I do the walls down, oh, it looks so grand. I'm really pleased. So, this is when I'm getting a bit confident. So, in my confidence, um, I, I fall down a lot. The seat right there. Well, actually, no, that one was deliberate. But normally, I, I'm, I'm falling down because I'm an absolute mong. But it's fine, it's alright, don't worry about it. So it's going to block off so I don't fall down that side. Can't do stairs. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Oh, I thought I fell down more than that. I do fall down quite a lot. Don't worry. Don't, don't. I'm not, you know, setting you all up for disappointment. I mean, yeah, I am, obviously. Well, this is YouTube. There we go. See, I do that a lot. I do that. And it's all very, very, very special. It, it felt a lot more when I was doing it, to be fair. Um, right, so, pop some railings here. It's just, I'm really surprised at just how forgiving a lot of the clipping mechanics are. I decided to leave that there like that. It's kind of 
think of it as more of a learning experience for me. I forgot to plug that gap. That's right, I do that by decoration. There are a few gaps. Because we do where the walls are. So right in front of us now, that part. This will be just showing you inside. It looks cool, right? That part there is where we wall off. So there are still gaps to do, but they would have just been repeating myself in a lot of parts. So I decided, right, fuck that. We won't do that. We'll just do this part so it looks complete. And then I'll just kind of plug those other gaps um, in the tour because it's just the same technique. So we've got a gate, fence doorway thing. I have a little one. I prefer the little ones because I like being able to um, snap the doorways on them. And to be honest as well, a settlement doesn't need a giant gate. I don't usually like... I actually scrapped the car there. I was really upset. Um, little tip. Did I do it? Do I probably... Do I? Did I already? I think I probably did it. I already did it already. I'm so proud of that. But, um, it's not very close, as you can see. Have I done it already, or was I not paying attention? Oh, no, I did it already. Fair enough. Um, I just need to stand next to it. I didn't realise I'd already shown you that. That's just how much I just blanked right there. But basically, yeah. Um, if you're trying to get something close to something, just make sure you stand it at an angle so you can just, um, on the side, so you can see the actual gap between the top and the, yes, the height, the, the door. Sorry, but brain freeze. Ah, shut up. Anyway. So you can see right here, I'm using the warehouse walls because they're awesome. It hadn't occurred to me to do this. I'm thinking of baby making. Basically, you know those walls on... Merc water that we made in the Merc water video. Yeah, yeah. These warehouse pieces would have done that better than the pieces we end up using. And that's just a that's just a life lesson, really, isn't it? Should have waited. <laughs> Should have waited. Ah, oh, they're so good. Look at that. Look at it, because I can just get them in there like that. Sink them in, and they're all gorgeous. They look lovely. They look surprisingly lovely, actually. And I think the good reason the reason why they look cool is because I don't have to add any detail to the tops or bottoms of them. Like, I'll probably add little bits and pieces. Um, oh, this one I get completely the wrong angle, don't I? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Forgive me with this one. It's, like, literally just not even working. But basically, yeah, I think because I can sink them in, they're quite a sit situational wall. But I'm thinking of trying to make a funky-looking one. I mean, it's pretty easy to do. Look at this. Look, look at that. Did, did I not even... Did I not even look? I mean, did I not really... Can you not? No. Useless. It's alright. Just got really excited when I was doing this one. I was like, yes! Yes, this is like... Because I had no idea what to do. I didn't know... I don't know things. <laughs> you think I plan these? Sometimes I plan these. This one, I didn't plan because I had no idea what to do. Um, that happens a lot with my builds. But then it, I, I like to think... Well, I mean... The pretentious, pretentious way of me describing that would be, oh, well, it provides me with inspiration. It does not. I just panic. I've always been a, you know, do my homework on the last minute kind of person and get a B um, until university when I was painfully average <laughs> because that doesn't work. Um, and that's why I do my buildings, basically. I find it's a lot easier for me to just kind of do them at a whim. i just pop that there. Junk fences, because obviously the warehouse pieces just aren't going to work. And we'll just happily run glitch to in. Normally I don't reverse them when I do actually the exterior walls, but I like the way they look reversed, um, and also, as well, just because of the fact that it, it just looks good. Yeah, it just looks cool. Basically, that, that's it, really. There's no kind of strategic benefit for me to doing this. Um, it just... I mean, I could argue that it would have got in the way of where people are sitting, and also you would have had too many support leg things. Get the way. There is a gap there, for example, that I don't plug. Um, but yes, it looks cool. I'm quite pleased by this. Oh, it's so good. And there's Piper. I mean, she's clearly very excited, as you can tell by the fact she's facing away from me. It's alright, Piper. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. I'll trade you in for Hancock again soon. It's cool. So pop down like this. Oh. And I'm a little bit haphazard with these um, fences as well. I just kind of see. I don't really worry about the height of them. A little bit of extra detail. See, these are brilliant. Yeah, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make more use of these because I want—I just wanted it to look like um, I was gonna patch that up with that, but I, then I changed my mind. Just kind of like—I've just completely transformed it, and that's what I love about it. It looks so cool. So finally, we just need to add a little bit of detail to the side of the junk fence, just to kind of see it looks because it's a little bit, a teeny bit of a gap from the junk fence to the warehouse walls, so we're just gonna, just gonna fix that. Make it 
so it looks grand. Yeah. Oh, I'm so pleased with this place. Part of me wished, because I think this could have been my... I, mean, I really like Jamaica Payne, but part of me wished I could have made this as my Mercer safe house. Or I could have just another one, because this would have been a cool safe house as well. Or if I could just have the raiders and you know, not been a complete dick and pissed off the Minutemen and somehow used the raiders. I don't know. It would have been... It would, this is a cool raider settlement, basically, is what I'm saying. Right, so here is the tour. Hope you guys like it. I also chose dusk because it's the best time of day because it looks absolutely badass um this looks really cool there's no decoration um the next starlight video will be the tour really pleased this place is gonna look badass when it's completely finished but it looks badass already so this is grand as always follow me on twitter at no response i'll have a rim no i might may have a rim world video up tomorrow i may have the beholder review type thing i'm not too sure yet um so as always follow me on twitter at no response see up to um, and yes, I love you all, and I'll talk to you lovely people soon. Take care.